Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and we have witnessed a beautiful act of heroism on live television. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, you can do that by visiting that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America. And hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. Fox News meteorologist was on the air this morning and, you know, Hurricane Helene has, has wreaked havoc across especially the southeast and it's just devastating, devastating people, communities, taking lives. Well, this Fox reporter's in the middle of his live shot. He sees a woman in absolute danger. He calls 911, but he fears that 911 won't make it there before this woman drowns. So he stops the broadcast, drops everything, and rushes to her aid and rescues her from a car that's filling up with water. This is absolutely unbelievable. I want you to watch this. This is fan this is this is one of those times where you really see humanity on display and it's it's just beautiful. I want you to watch this. Let me know what you think in the comments. So a little while ago, and he said, hold on, I'm going to go help that lady in that car. Uh, and he joins us right now from uh, one of the uh, areas around Atlanta. Bob, uh, tell us, when we saw you last, uh, there was a lady in that white car behind you, and we could hear her screaming, screaming her head off during your live shot. And eventually yeah. you said, I I've called 911, but the water was rising. And you had to do something, so pick it's, up the story. Hey, it, Steve, it was, it, I know that we're swamped here with all the 911 calls because there's so many high water rescues that we've already documented so far. And call 911 in five minutes, 10 minutes, and you could hear her screaming, right? You could hear it during my live shot real loud. And that's her car right there. Windshield wipers are still on. So I just said, you know what? I, I realize I'm with you guys. I'm on the air, but I, I can't. I, I can't let it go. So I just... <laughs> I, I, I dropped everything and I took my wallet out of my pants and I uh, went Bob, in there, waded in, got chest deep. Yeah. That's the type of guy Bob Van Dillen is. I've known Bob for probably 15 uh, years. So don't be humble, yeah. my friend. This I was not uh, surprised at all when you took off your gear and on live television said, I've got to go do something. I, I, it, Janice, you know how it is, and it, I was I was concerned at one that maybe there was a nice swift current, but the current really wasn't that bad. Uh, but the water temperature I was afraid with too. The water temperature is probably about 80, so all those things were working pretty nicely. Now that being said, the water came up to about my chest, and she was in there, and she was still strapped into her car, and the water was actually rising and getting up into the car itself. So she was about you know almost neck deep submerged in her if own car. If you hadn't done that, and she's if you on hadn't her phone gone, with her husband. what would have happened had you not gone in? there which i mean she would have drowned well, it looks like it hasn't gotten that much Shh. yeah i i you know i, I don't know I, I i told her okay undo your seatbelt. i mean she undid her seatbelt, oh and i said let me have your phone let me have your bags and then put on my back and then we walked in so she's short she's probably about this tall so i put her on my back and just brought in it was she's fine she was in shock uh she was cold shivering so i gave her one of my shirts and she was in our car just warming up uh, about 10 minutes later, the fire department came, saw that we were okay, and they went on to the next rescue, wherever they're going. Meteorologist but her husband just and picked her up responder. about five minutes ago. That's right. You're Bob, amazing. Yeah, there they are. Bob, a, a heroic yeah. act, but you know you're never supposed <laughs> to do any of that stuff. Is your wife watching you right now on TV? Because you, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, you know what? I texted her. I said, let's just keep this under wraps. She doesn't, she doesn't know what happened or anything. I'm going to text let's just her right it. now. Don't tell her. You guys. Allie, no, Janice, come on. You know her. Don't tell her. I'm going to tell no, her. That's good. It's, just, everyone now kick. knows. When I go home, she's eventually, she's going to lose her shoe in my butt when she finds out. <laughs> <laughs> we love you so much, Bob. Thank you for doing such great work. <laughs> that's right. And uh, thanks for cr that's actually good. saving that lady and crossing that police tape that is behind you. That means don't cross, but you did it anywhere. Anyway, and it well, it was a, a, a good do. deed for the day. Thank you, Bob. We yep, love you. That's it. All right, you guys. All right. Bye. See you.